Today I'm working on a 2015 Subaru Forester. Uh, this vehicle was in a flood. As you can see, the customer has the whole car stripped down. And uh, he, brought it, he brought it to us because it's having a gauge cluster issue. Basically, you turn the ignition on, everything lights up, everything seems to work, and then it cuts off. So likely it has some corrosion on the on the circuit board. So he brought us a replacement gauge cluster. And uh, as many of you might know, the key is programmed to the cluster. And plus this one has the wrong mileage. Uh, this one has, I think, 40, 46 on it. And uh, this car has like 60 thousand so he wants us to go ahead and clone this gauge cluster that way it will start and it will have the correct um, the correct mileage I'll go ahead and plug in this replacement cluster and uh, show you guys what it does when you change the gauge cluster so with the original cluster right here oh, shoot Something's wrong with the battery. I guess it sounds like it's not tied down. Give me a sec. All right, I got the battery connected. So it starts right up. It works. Uh, the gauges and nothing on the cluster function. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the replacement cluster in it. All right, so this is the replacement cluster. So starts. Well, no, no, there's a lock on it, and it won't start. Interesting that it let me start it in the very beginning. Yep, there it is, locked me out. <clears throat> so as you saw, uh, this one has f uh, 43,000 miles on it. I'm not sure why it says 46 on the, on the top here. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and clone this gauge cluster. Basically, I'm gonna transfer all the, the data uh, that stores the mileage and uh, the key calibrations. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done right now. Alright, so on these gauge clusters, the odometer and key data is stored on a 93C76E prom. As you can see, I'm pulling both of them off the circuit boards. And I'm going to reinstall them here. Here it is installed. I didn't show uh, the installation process. I, had, I got some horrible angles, so the footage was no good. Here it is soldered in both sides. Then over here I'm just going to put it back together, put the needles in, and uh, these stepper uh, motors have uh, stopping points on them, so I'm going to insert the needle and then turn it left until it's on zero and then you could feel the stopping point. Same with the tachometer, put it on the needle, turn it all the way to zero. Make sure there's nothing under the lens and reinsert it and clip it back together and it's ready to go back into the car. Here it is. It 
62,000 miles and no lock. And it doesn't shut off. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.